Like it would have raised the album rating at least two points. That is all I ever ask. Whenever I have an yeah. issue with a lot with albums that are that length, it's just like it's always yeah. three or four songs you can take off of there. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to the Soul Serum Podcast. I am your she banking on me. I'm the bank host, Clay Bonin. She banking on me on the bank. I am joined by my big drip like Godzilla co-host Tanner Mavis. Drip. You are now tuned in to the number one yeet podcast in the world. The number one yeet podcast. You already know what you tuned into. Um, welcome back, everybody. Uh, episode 51. Yep. Um, you already know. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Soul Serum. I've been getting tweets off. I told you all last week I'm getting tweets off. Go check in with me. Uh, follow the TV Instagram as well. Subscribe to us on YouTube yep. main page tv page um you know we've been doing pretty well on youtube recently like i see like a steady yeah yeah like, shout in, out incline to everybody, of, of subscribers everybody who's like been commenting and watching like the cold viewers who have like just been coming on to the podcast we yeah. see you all thank you all we appreciate you all we definitely see a little bit of improvement yeah as far as engagement yeah on, your, so. on youtube I think so and uh, honestly on tiktok too we saw yeah a good and spike TikTok, last week obviously. as well um but you know what None of that even matters. None of that is quite as drippy as what we're getting into today, Tanner. No pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> we are we are going to be doing our DS Forever Drip Season 4 reaction today. Um, just for a little bit of context, I feel like everybody who's watching this probably knows, but if in some like uh alien apocalypse like this is the only video that they ever view on youtube like, yeah. i just want to give them a little bit of context um this is gunna's uh fourth installment of his drip season mixtape um he's been gunna has been a top of the rap game for the last like two to three years you know just kind of floating from hit to hit from feature to feature um this, like I said, it's the final installment of the Drip Season mixtape set. Um, Drip Season 3, personally, for me, was like a huge album. Senior yep. year of college, that shit, like, if I was having a bad day, that's what I put on. That shit got me through some of those Facts. some of those cold walks through NKU's <laughs> campus, bro. Drip Season 3 helped me a lot with that. Um, you know, we're also big one of fans over here on the yep. Soul Serum podcast. Uh, but what are you what are you expecting out of gun of this go around, Tanner, with Drip Season Four? Um, I think I'm like expecting like like way like bigger production, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that just feels like bigger, and it feels like since it's the last installment of Drip Season, like I feel like it's probably gonna make it dramatic. Yeah, I think like I, th I there might be a little some dramatic uh shit going on, but just by, by looking at the track list, I think it's gonna be a mix of just like hype turn up stuff and like the cool vibey like mm -hmm. like laid back nonchalant the one of flows yeah the one of flows you know? and then um he's also has a new girlfriend uh chloe bailey and i saw she, oh are they are they yeah. i didn't know that they were dating yeah oh, yeah okay. they're, they're, they're dating i'm pretty i'm pretty sure they're dating um yeah we'll, we'll we'll erase that from the record if it's not true but i'm interested to see what their track sounds like it's gonna be gunna's getting in his vulnerable romantic bag yeah yeah so, i yeah. don't know i think it's gonna be a mix of a lot of different emotions but like what i'm what i'm, I'm expecting some of the same stuff yeah too. yeah 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 i think it's largely going to be a gonna album he's yeah. probably not like reinventing the no, wheel no. or anything here but I, I what i'm expecting is like the flows to be yeah like really on that next level gonna flow vibe like we can only hope we can only hope all the all the snippets on that i've been hearing on tiktok or whatever she banging on me on a bank like that shit is going crazy but i saw that i don't think i don't think i don't think it made i don't think it made the album yeah ah sergio Sergio, why'd you do this to us? Yeah. Um, Gunna probably has the hardest, like, government name, bro. <laughs> Let's talk about that for, for one minute before we go. We got to talk about like, it. Like, Sergio a Kitchens, bro. Like, Sergio he should. Sergio Kitchens. He needs to drop a whole album 
under the name Sergio Kitchens and just like reinvent reinvent himself in some way. It would be dope if he just went Sergio for an album. Like and he got <laughs> he got really in his emotional bag. He really got into his his soul. Sergio. <laughs> Damn. That is, I mean, like, other than other than like Samir Woods, I feel like yeah. Sergio Kitchens is up there for like best rapper government name. Facts. You know? Bro, we could do a whole video just on that. <laughs> do I do? We, should we do like a tier list video? Yeah, on, tier on list on real government names. names yes, That's so funny. We should do that. Write that down. I'm down. I'm down for that. Um, all right. Well, let's just let's let's get into it here. Let's get into DS Forever Drip Season Four Gunna. Um, this is the first track. It's called Private Island. Well, we made a way. Why they face your expression giving hate? Why they act like I ain't helping them out? It, the song sounded like it came out of the uh, the Young Thug Punk sessions. Yes, this like, song. Like, like he was in the studio with Thug, yeah. like making when Thug was making punk. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's exactly what that sounds. Yeah, like. I have nothing M to mixed add. with the tropical wanna. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It like it was. It's a good intro. Yeah, good intro. I feel like honestly, YSL like that whole camp usually does good on intros i feel like they really care about album intros yeah, yeah. i think my favorite in, uh thug intro is off of beautiful thugger girls i forget what the fucking song is called but that's, i think that's why clef john right no 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 no, no 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 beautiful thugger girls oh oh on beautiful thugger girls um um is that family don't matter <laughs> yes my family Fam don't matter family don't matter oh. Oh, yes. what's popping, I was kind of getting. Yeah, damn, I, was kinda, I need I was to listen getting, to that album again, bro. Oh my god, it's so good. I was kind of getting that for a second too, but yeah, it, yeah, it, a it, bit. it made me. It, it definitely reminded me of like what Thug was doing on Punk. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's speaking of Young Thug. Yep. Uh, let's get into this. Is a track that I'm personally looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, we're pushing P from from the track list here. Pushing P. Gonna been talking nonstop on Twitter about pushing about P pushing P. I'm just pushing like pushing P. He's trying little to little baby say yeah. P got a fire album coming. Yeah. Whatever, like. He's pushing some new lingo, so I'm trying to learn and, and see if I'm uh see if you're see, pushing P. See if I meet the qualifications of P. Got a spot across the spot. Jeff of P's. Drop the data, now we plant exotic peas. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned pisbian. Juke Wong and Wheezy. Damn. Good God almighty. That beat was fucking crazy. Yeah, that shit was stupid. That was, oh. Like, it wasn't like this, like, this, like, hyped up, like, banger that you're going to, like, no. mosh to. But, uh -uh. like, uh -uh. it just felt, like, dirty. Made me want to ride push around and do B. bad shit or something. Push B. Push P. Push Bro, B. Bro, Future's voice is just so fucking like on those like really dark, like ethereal beats. Yes, like, yes. Like it's just, it's like to the ear, I'm just like. Oh my god. It's like a massage, bro. This beat, no pun intended, is quite slimy. Like that, it is, that, it, that's it. That's it. It, it feels it's slimy. so it's slimy. slimy. Yeah, it's man. very slimy. Like, like it's amazing how like like how much that makes sense if you like really feel like like what they're saying and like how it feels to the ear uh -huh. like the sounds it's the soundscape th that they're trying to like give off like i don't know bro like slime is like the best way to fucking put yeah it. it feels very slimy uh all right i well, love i love the back and forth too at the beginning yeah 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 that's that's the that's the the three-headed snake yes. that's the the weave right there him God. gonna future gonna and thug i mean like so that, good that i mean like obviously we have almost the entire rest of the album left but i think that's probably <laughs> I'm already going to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to my fucking spotify to hit the, the heart the heart button <laughs> go ahead hit the yeah. green heart on push and pee <laughs> well while you're doing that let's get into poochie gown <laughs> Well, it was very nice for Metro Boomin to show up and and have fun at the party with yeah. us. That was that That's, was quite slimy as well. That sounded honest. like a Metro beat. That was just that that dark. Yep. like those just real those 808s were fucking hitting too. Yes, yes, that was that one. Okay, so like just. 
we're only on song three, but it sounded like we were getting like a darker yeah. uh, take on like Gunna Sound. Because really, like, I mean, Drip Season 3 kind of feels dark, sort of. I just like was listening to it earlier today, actually. But like, it feels kind of darkish. But this feels like really like we're going all the way uh, we're into in the, the cave. We're in the gutter, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're in the gutter. We're in the gutter. Um, well, let's go. Let's move on. <laughs> Track number four, Mop, featuring none other than Young Thug. The Travis, they family and friends. Yeah. Got the bowling ball in the pants. Oh. She turn on that dick in suspense. Yeah. He tried to come here with the clash. Got kicked out the wood, Jackie Chan. Don't need for the pass in the pants. Okay. Damn. That Every, beat is fucking gross. Everything about that song was awesome except for Young Thug saying... I nutted all over her face and now she looked like a cow. Yeah. That that took it took me right out of the song. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. What do you whoa whoa? But other than that, the beat was hard. Yeah. I loved their flow. It was just like the little like bro, it was not like it was, short. It was nonstop, bro. <laughs> like the energy was from beginning to end was fucking non They went non-stop. back and forth six times with like two choruses. Like that's they they Young Thug and and uh, and Gunna. I don't know if I'm using this right, but they're pushing P. Yeah, they it are. seems like it seems like the, it seems P. like that's what's going on. I still don't know what push pushing P means. Yeah, we'll figure it out probably. It's very close to push a T, and I don't think I feel like that's, that's not, not. Yeah, no, I feel no, like that's no. not a thing. All right, well, I let's, feel like I feel like that's like a fucking club banger though. Like that could be that one. That of, one of all of all the songs so far, I think that one's the club banger. Yeah, and even though I, I hate the line that i previously said like that's gonna stick out and people yeah. are gonna like they're, they're gonna people are gonna grab on to that lyric i feel like so. yeah all right let's get let's move right along here track number five thought i was playing by gunna and 21 savage my money longer won't run out bbs diamonds to sign out 21 we just got money for fun now it's been held triple bullets it's an ak in my hand these boys a bunch of pussies they no different than a train Bro, why do I know what's coming every single time a 21 Savage verse is is heading my way? I know what's coming every time. I know I I can hear it before it comes. And is that it, a it, good or a bad? thing? No, it's a good thing. Okay. Like okay. in this case, it's a good thing. Uh huh. And then at the end of it, I'm just like, I'll I'll never get tired of this. You're okay. Like it's been five it's been five years of of 21 Savage features like this, like on beats like this, on like big albums, like yeah. And it, it just never right. gets old. He's great. Yeah, every it's time. always a highlight. Like mo- think- like most of the time, it's all it's a, it's a highlight with twenty one. Uh, uh, J Cole. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you you make a valid point though. Twenty one Savage, I think probably knows like that like when when he's getting like the big album features. Yeah. I feel like he probably puts in a little bit extra work because you're right. Like every larger album that has the 21 savage feature on like the hard ass beat yeah. like this like, like that sounded like good. a that sounded like a 21 beat to me like more than it sounded like a gun yeah. beat but gun, Mi- but gun did this thing I, li- I like the hook yeah mike will um there was some other producer I, f- I didn't see the full credit somebody else was on that as well but um i weirdo sean ferrari they made a crazy beat yeah that was very it was very uh very different from mike will's usual stuff but all right let's move on here um let's go to track number six how you did that featuring bill capri bill capri kodak black Eh, it yeah, felt, it felt kind of redundant. That's a, that's exactly how I feel. It was, <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, it was alright. I, th- I I think not people, my favorite. People will enjoy that song, but it yeah. really didn't do a whole lot for me to be. There's honest. been better Kodak, uh, like verses and, and additions. Yeah, although I do think that was a very Kodak definitely yeah. beat. I don't know if that was like a flute in the background or like like piano keys that they were yeah, playing, but I don't I don't, I, I'm not a producer. It was a very tropical island boy sound, yeah. if you will. Bill Capri, I mean, he might as well be an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> he he is the father of the island he, boys. Oh, wait, no, he co-signed him. Yeah, One of the, did. at least they, they, they claim. Anywho, the Island Boys made it into our podcast again. Twenty twenty two. That's my fault. That's all, that's on me. That's all. That's all me. Um, all right, let's move on here. Track number seven, "A Lot of Cake" by Gunna. Looks like 
our good friend Metro Boomin pops back out. Let's All get right. into it. Cannabis, meditate, overseas, out of state, a lot of speed, no brakes, and low your feet. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, that was that's so far. A lot of cake was the most gunna esque yep. gunna the, song. The variety of flows, here. man. That's what I'm looking for. I I, I love when he's he's in a, he's in a, in this pocket and then that can cool. Like he like he switches it up like right after and it's just like ooh. I love that that like little syllable to little syllable like a lot of cake fornicate then of it did it like whenever gonna is doing this like little floaty bubbly thing i'm into it i'm, I'm rocking with it i think he dissed alamo records on this too i mean is he dissing them or is he just like getting a reference off does he have beef with with alamo records um, i feel like he's i'm honestly been, not sure i don't know his business like that but i feel like he's just always been ysl yeah that was fire though I don't know if he, I, I have to, I guess I have to get more context, but that's funny. Why would he just, but why would, I mean, I don't know. I guess it just, go, it goes, it goes with the rhyme. Yeah. It just, it just, he was just like, damn, Alamo is the word I need right yeah. here. You think Gunna is aware of like the Alamo, like the war. Like yeah, Texas? That's, it could be that you think, too. You think I could be overthinking it, but I mean, no, probably either, either way, shout out to my good people at Alamo. Shout out Alamo Records. All right, let's move on here. Number eight, Living Wild. By God. hard on a nigga. I hardly show my feelings. Look up to see stars, but I'm realizing God in the ceiling. I've been getting high and consistent, but you're trying to show me different. Judging me for trying to whip it. I'm tired of the critics. But I can't cap, I ain't feel it. But Turbo might have one of the hardest tags. Yeah. Just as a side note, I love that. Run that back, Turbo. Uh, well, Gunna got a little personal on that. Yeah, he one. did. It seemed like he was really like in his in his feelings. Yeah, on that one. I'm not a, mad at that. In a personal introspection. Yeah, you know it's cool because I feel like with, with a lot of these, a lot of these new age rappers. <laughs> but no, but like in all seriousness though, like a lot of like rappers who are kind of in this lane, like. The gunna little baby. Yeah. It's all about the fast life. It's all about the fast life. And we don't ever really get them taking a second and like talking about their personal <laughs> issues. And, you know, could is this like the most emotionally, you know, heart wrenching song I've ever heard? No. no, I wouldn't say so. But but Gun, Gun, Gunna's, Gunna's version of a vulnerable, vulnerable song. You yeah. Know? Everybody's yeah. different. Everybody like expresses their emotions and feelings different right right and i think it's even cooler when like rappers like gunna yeah can show us this this side of him you know what i mean even in a a, a drip season four album like yeah a little break from the drip a l- a, as you will but it, this is drip this is drip in a different way put the put the drip to the side for a second <laughs> <laughs> look at your inner drip okay? yeah exactly <laughs> yeah no, that was good. That was good. I I liked that. I liked a number number eight. I like how wild. he said something about the whippets because that was a big deal. He said, he said you judging me for trying whippets, and to be honest, I did judge him for yeah. trying the whippets. I won't. I, I think won't it was. Lie. I, I mean, like I don't know. Like I I definitely did, but like I think the main thing was like him, young Felg were like doing it and then like <laughs> sticking it on their sticking on their heads, and then the the Instagram <laughs> live when he did the whippet and he goes slit. <laughs> And then he ended the live. <laughs> like okay. that shit, it, it became a meme because like, I feel like, like he allowed it to be like, he allowed it to he become He was just on the internet just doing whippets, bro. And also like, other than like people who go to like fish concerts and stuff, like I don't know many just people about who that. really do whippets and shit. Yeah. The channel yeah. five. I, yeah. I know, I know D Savage, D Savage was like one of the first like rappers to, to slap. <laughs> That I've seen doing whippets, and then like around the same time I saw Gunna doing them, I'm like, is whippets about to be the new fucking like Xanax or like per- per- Percocet? Okay. Like, I'm glad I'm glad it was short lived, but but the videos you him, never know, bro, what people are going through. The videos of him saying it <coughs> and the video with with it on his head is like pure it's pretty comedy. yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Comedy. All right, let's go to track number nine, "You and Me" featuring his boo. Yep, Chloe Bailey. Here it is. <laughs> Yeah. 
Gunna, Gunna's about to be responsible for some children <laughs> who were born in, what is this, January? And people are born in uh, October. Fucking, yeah, September and October. Like, I don't know, it's a baby making music right here. It is. That's kind of that's kind of cool that like him and his significant other get to make like a yep. like a sexy song together. Yeah. You know, kind of like what Don Tolliver did with with Caliuchas. Yeah. yeah, I I also don't. I mean, can you think of any like gonna like ballads, love songs, things like that? I can't really think Not of any. Top of my like, head. So he is kind of like expanding, even though this is you know drip season installment of mixtapes he is kind of expanding on his like songwriting kind of process you know yeah. which is cool cool good good for you gonna yeah good for you um okay her, her voice is really good too yeah her voice is really cool it's chloe bailey right yeah Isn't that, sure. that her name yeah i uh definitely have not listened to her music uh i will not i will not cap on you okay i've not <laughs> listened to her music but i did like her voice though um, let's go with track number 10. Moving on here. This is South to West. You go on an attack. Let the whole world know the babies is back. Spin the West hitting the dash. Cribbing the back out of hundred yard dash. Who saw me the mess? Keep up with a jet. I'm about to catch a double the bed. My money straight. That sounded that beat sounded like some like like ancient like China or like like Japanese like type of vibe. You know what I mean? Like this is what they would play like in the dojos when they were yeah, training the, the dojo. Samurais, yeah, yeah, you know, that's that's what it sounded like to yeah. me. Like I sounded like it sounded like I'm in like a temple somewhere and like Kung Fu Panda vibes, but like Gunda, Gunna. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody out there to Photoshop Gunna as the Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, please. And send it to us in our discord. It, yeah, but you know what? Is that is that gonna perpetuate the gunna fat jokes? Because I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to. You know, I'm. I, we're here at the Soul Serum Podcast. We are against uh, fat phobia. Yeah, right. He's not even that yeah. fat. No, I know. I know. That that's the thing about that whole joke is like I really feel like gunna's not that nah. big. He'd just be wearing tight pants. So yeah, it looks like he's big. Anywho. Long story short, uh, yeah, no, no, no. This song, uh, it kind of just came in, wrapped his ass off, and left. I mean, I, I, yeah. you know, I don't have much else to say <laughs> about it. Um, okay, well, let's move on. Frequent collaborators, Lil Baby and Gunna. Yes, sir. On track number eleven, this is twenty-five K jacket. It's pretty hard. That was hard as shit. That was hard as shit. It, it's crazy how well their voices blend because I think they both have kind of unique. Um, I might even as I don't want to say the word strange, but they have different voices like mm -hmm. little baby and gonna like just have very distinct voices and it's funny to me that it blends so well like, yeah i just love i love when they collaborate in any form or fashion so this is a big w for me yeah. on this track right here i don't really have much to say it was it was hard Twenty five thousand for a jacket wear it once wear it once just one time <laughs> just one time not two not three just once. I believe it, too. All right. Now, this is... Oh, yeah. I believe it, too. I, <laughs> I think he probably bought one today. Probably. Yeah. Um, okay. This was the single off of the album. Uh, this is Too Easy, track number 12, Gonna Feature in Future. Um, and we're still going to listen to it because it's hard. I think the hook is the strongest part of the song. Like he, like that's that's probably the best hook on this whole album. That's vintage Gunna right yeah. there. Yeah. It's your one and your easy man. It's just too easy. <laughs> Got a Like oh man, I I love. I also love that future verse a lot. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm a big fan of that future verse. Future can be hit or miss sometimes. I think on his features on albums like this, but I think that one really went. Um, thank God Gunna met Wheezy. Good yeah, lord. Yeah, dude. They have given us some hits. Some hits. Like, 
and like we say hits sometimes when when they're hits for us but they also have like yeah hits yeah. like hits hits yeah. you know like shout out wheezy, wheezy and turbo shout out yeah and turbo for real how you know though it's it's important that you find those producers to help mold and guide your sound because without them gonna would not have this album right here to be honest like yeah. not just from the fact that they actually make the beats but i mean they helped you know make a beautiful yeah. piece of pottery out of gunna's flow yeah. you know the producers are the ones that really like know a direction for an artist as far as mm -hmm. the sound goes and mm -hmm. like they have they have to have just as much of a vision as the artist does sometimes more because yeah. the sound the sound is the most impor important part to me yeah and I know Wheezy executive produced Wanna. I don't know. I didn't look at the credits on this. I don't know if he executive produced this, but, um, you know, just goes to show like he does, you know, he has a vision for Gunna Sound. <coughs> Let's move on. Lucky number 13. This is a uh, IDK that bitch. <laughs> Gunna featuring. Uh, what's, what's G Herbo's real name? Herbert? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's Herbert. <laughs> let's let's go. I'm not, I'm not like the the biggest G. I, I fuck with G Herbo, but I don't really listen to him all that much. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about G Herbo but too. I, I have heard hard G Herbo songs and verses, so like, yeah, I res I respect him. He's just not like in my rotation. This is kind of a weird combination too. Gunna and G Herbo. Yeah. This this is like a strange combination to me. They I feel like they live on very yeah. opposite sides of the hip hop. Yeah, G Herbo, one of the pioneers of drill, Chicago drill, and then Gunna, the slimy Atlanta Southern slime. Like you know, you already know what it is. Well, let's see. We're let's see what it. they give us. Herbo rich as fuck, but I want a hundred amps. Crib in the hill, straight up by the field, drilling with a gun in hand. Just in the limb, but I'm damn. I G Herbo's verse was hard. Surprisingly, <laughs> really enjoyed the G Herbo verse. Yeah. Gunna on this song, I feel like I was like in a trance for a second. Yeah. His his verse was like like butter on toast on That's that what one. It is, I was just yeah. like, oh whoa. It's like a, a like. I don't know. It, it felt like a nice, like, just chill, like, song to, like, smoke to or something mm -hmm. with, yeah. with, with the boys. Definitely. And then G Herbo came in like this. And then he. Pull up on Kalinian. And then he kind of, like, as his verse went on, he kind of, like, turned it down a little bit. Yeah. But he came in in classic G Herbo fashion. Yeah. G Herbo was a million. Like, I was like, oh, oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Harold Her Herbert. Wait, I, I got to look up his real name, though, because now I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert Randall Wright. <laughs> Herbert. All right. Uh, enough government name slander. Let's keep it moving here. We're on track 14. This is flooded. No features. Just gonna. Hell of a price. It's been some nights. She got a nice throat. throat. She got me right. How about her ice? AP and pedophilia. Flooded. Hang out in Richard Millie. I would hope that that song plays in like the Rolex store when I'm buying my Rolex. Like that's that's the vibe I got from that. It was like some real high class, elegant, like yeah, hoity toity gonna gonna music right there. Yeah, the Johnny Dang line was probably my favorite. <laughs> yes. Like I, I I rock different jewelry that's not Johnny Dang because everybody else rocks Johnny None Dang. None of this that's shit came from Johnny Dang. Eliante, go, got me. That's going probably insane. what he's saying, right? Like, right, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Everybody talks about flexing Johnny Day, and it's become like, yeah, a and, norm. And that's like, I think, like, and Gunna's also like, I've always been going to Eliante, so like, none of this comes from Johnny Dang. Yeah, and it's like no disrespect, but it's also like a little. Yeah, man. it's like a, and like just a showing scotch. loyalty to his jeweler. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He's given that man a lot of fucking money. I hope he's loyal to him. Facts. Gunna uh, mentioned the country Angola in the rap dude not another rapper has ever mentioned <laughs> angola in a rap song fucking tell me if they have because i don't think where they is have. angola on the globe um i'm pretty sure it's in africa yeah angola is in africa okay cool Sweet. <laughs> I, it's like I, I know that it exists. I just don't oh, know a lot right about the, Angola. It's right on the coast. Too. Right off the coast. Yeah, you know, it's north of Nambia. 
uh, south of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Gonna well-traveled man. He's a well-traveled man. All right, let's keep it moving. Track number 15 here. This is Life of Sin featuring Nechi. Nietzsche? Nechi? I think it's Nechi. I ain't with that boy knowing these straight hoes. Some of says that niggas. Y'all some straight hoes. I can't relate, so I just play the dog and stay low. We just wanna win, and it's life of sin. Heard it coming. That was the first song that I'm like, I'm like, not. I'm not. Eh. Yeah. It just didn't really do anything for me, for real. Yeah, I wasn't really moved by it. Yeah. The beat was nice. <laughs> like, it was definitely, you know, I was bopping my head, but it. Yeah. I don't think. Like, I, I, I felt like I, I kind of tuned out a little bit as the song was going. Yeah. Was not a huge fan of, of Nietzsche's voice either. Not a not a huge fan of that. Uh, you know. I thought he was talking some shit. The neat, the Nietzsche dude. Yeah. Yeah. But. Nah. Nah. <laughs> eh, that's how I feel. Eh. All right, let's move on to track number 16. This is uh, one of the longer songs on this album coming in at a little bit over four minutes. This is Die Alone uh, featuring Young Blue and Chris Brown. Uh, I'm just going to predict right now. I don't think I'm going to like this song. Why? I just think it's probably going to be like some real slow, like, like singy sort of song. And I just don't, I just don't think I'm going to like it. I don't know why I just, I'm getting a feeling that I'm not <laughs> okay. going to like this song. I guess we'll find out. But let's go ahead. Die alone. Can't even keep my band. We on a second date and I made her pay the band. Cause I don't want, I don't want to be alone. No more second chances. I imagine Gunna with like, like a, 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 in a Chris Brown ass video with like the spotlight on him, just like with the, <laughs> with the mic. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> it's raining and shit. They yeah, got the rain raining. coming down. It's on raining, him. bro. Somebody's got to do <laughs> oh, do man. an edit like that. I was about to fall asleep listening to that. Bro, it, it, it was literally, exactly it, 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 what I yeah. thought it was going to be. Probably, probably like a little worse. It was it was a little worse than what I expected it to be. This for me is this is just this is not why I've come to a Gunna album yeah. is this song right here. If Gunna wants to go on Young Blue's album or on Chris Brown's album and be a feature on a song like this, fine. Yeah. That's okay with me. I did not come to Drip Season 4 for... Yeah, to hear a Chris Brown album cut. To hear to hear a Chris Brown album cut. Literally. The Young Blue verse, I'm, I, I was cool with that. That was fun. Uh, Chris Brown verse, Gunna verse, the chorus. I'm just... I just it just was not... Was not great for me. <laughs> Bless you. Gosh, I'm sorry. Sneezing on the podcast. I feel like we've not had many sneezes on the podcast in general. I'm sorry. It's all right, man. I'll put a beep over it. All right, number seventeen. We got Check, three more. Seventeen. We got three more. Well, do we have to really listen to the Too Easy remix? Um, eh. Do we? I mean, I feel like we don't have to. <laughs> right. It's just got Roddy Rich on it, and that's fine. It's already been out, that's you know. Fine. Okay, let's go track number seventeen. Right, two more songs. Two more songs. Missing me. Turn apart, baby. And I know you gonna be missing me. Once so far, baby. Life a tour, baby. Got it on my own, but still I ain't independent. My day one been with me since. <sighs> okay. What do you think, like? Like, who was in his ear to make these, like, last, like, four or five songs, like... I don't know, dude. That's what I was thinking about as like, we were listening is it, is it to it like, this. all right, we got, we got to, like, we got to introduce, like, like, pop star gonna or, like, R&B gonna? Like, do we have to introduce something new to try to, like, tease at something in the future? I or is it, like, do we need to give, like, this is, like, I don't know, like, this is, like, a, your one of your biggest albums yet do we just like mix it up like i i, I don't know i'm trying to get in the a and r's head i'm trying to get yeah. into the like this, this like the sessions and like what was spoke about and like the ideas behind the album i definitely think there is a bit of gonna r&b kind of readiness that they're doing here yeah. right like like whether it be him doing an r&b album an r&b-esque album or him like you know, getting more into that feature world and whatnot. Cause I think his voice lends well for that style. Um, I think that's part of it, but man, I don't know. I just don't think these last F flooded was all right, but like 15, 16 and 17 life of sin, die alone and missing me have just like the energy has really 
plummeted on this yeah. album. And I just don't think, you know, if you are going to do these songs on this album, I don't think they should all be right next to each other and no. they should not also be at the end of the album. Like, like I also, yeah. and as has been stated on this podcast, I'm a stickler about album length. Yeah. This is track 17. Like I'm like, yeah, if you could, okay, you, you, like, could, you could cut like five or six of these and make this like 11, 12 song album. And it would be, like it would raise the album rating at least two points. That is all I ever ask. Whenever I have an yeah. issue with a lot with albums that are that length, it's just like it's always yeah. three or four songs you can take off of there. Yeah. I think, but but it's it's not even just gonna though. Like yeah, yeah. There's the, a lot the, the, of the label. The label wants as mo- as many songs on there as possible because more songs equals more streams and more revenue, more money. Most of the time, that's true. That's true. Um. I was going to say something. Oh, I was going to say, um, I think something that would help a lot on these slower songs is uh, better songwriting, like on, on Gunna's end. Like, not that he's a mm-hmm. bad songwriter. Like, we love, like, Gunna when Gunna's in his bag and, like, mm-hmm. do like a lot of his, like, flows are, like, natural and, like, I'm not sure if Gunna is, like, writing down every single song on this yeah. album. You know what I mean? Um, but, like, for some of those, like, m- like, really vulnerable and, like, sing songy songs whether it's about heartbreak or about love romance whatever the fuck it is Mm -hmm. like like those songs are the foundation of it is just like really good songwriting that like people can like really really relate to yeah you know what i mean and i think and like a lot of pop stars have multiple songwriters on these types of songs yeah you know what i mean they do and I think he did good with that in Living Wild and You and Me, tracks eight and nine. I think those were good examples of Gunna being able to successfully do that. Yeah. But these last few songs, I just think have fallen flat for me. But let's finish it out. This is the last track, not counting the Too Easy remix, which we're not going to listen to because we've already heard Too Easy. I'm not really like dying to listen to it again to hear a Roddy Rich verse. Yeah. Um, but this would be what I would consider the outro. This is so far ahead. It is the outro because like the last Empire. one's just, it would be a bonus track on an album that you would purchase at like, that like you a real, like a purchase at, at the store. Album, yeah. yeah. All right. And this is, this is by far the longest song at five and a half minutes, but it seems like it's a two song. It's a two parter kind of deal. So let's get into it. So far ahead, Empire. Mean that we get it cream. Now we live in our dreams. And the whole world ours. Got our bosses in the team. We bust it down on need degree. Trying to build an empire. I said, well, oh, wow. Mm. <clears throat> that was a very, like, I don't, somber's not the right word, but it was a very, like, <sighs> yeah. resolving outro i feel like that's probably a good word it uh it wasn't what i would have picked yeah. probably but it was but it was like this was what we were just saying about like or what you were just saying about like the songwriting being better to get these like lower energy songs off i do think that was better yeah this was much better than than the other tracks that we listened to um but it was kind of like I don't know why he did why that's like one song like uh, it, uh, the transition aspect didn't really add much dynamics to the song no. for me. Um, I don't know. It was I liked it, but it was it. Yeah. yeah, I just it's never a good thing when like I'm looking forward to the end of the album. Yeah, yeah. like I was like. I, all right, like I know how these last five, like, like we went through three of the same songs. I'm like, okay, there's no way he's gonna like pick it back up again because it's about to end. Yeah, you know what I mean. Tracks one through like 13, 12, yeah. 13. Uh, you know, Except I could for like I think Living Wild and You and Me were like slower ones. Yeah, too. those are definitely slower ones. But those like I could I could get through those like, like without two, skipping. Two but, like, through two through six. No, two through five. Yeah, all oh, that shit was hard as hell. I don't know, man. I um, I mean, I have mixed feelings. I think about the you album. know one thing. I think with Gunna and Young Thug, as much as I want them to have like entire great albums, and I think they do both have some. Like a lot of times when they release stuff, like it is really just like a two or three song thing for me, where I'm like, I like these songs most of the time, and when it's and when back. it's like. When it's like seven, eight, nine, 
like really good songs, then it's like one. It's like the classic. Right. Like, right. Exactly. Like exactly. so much fun for Thug. This like, this Fodder didn't. Six. I I would like. I want to see how this album ages because. I think there's a lot of good shit on here. Definitely some stuff that I will be playing in my rotation, but I don't think that the album DS Forever as a whole thing was like anything spectacular. I, yeah. feel, I felt I pretty think, all I think right. In, I think it. in today's day and age, I think it might be forgotten about pretty yeah. soon. We like, are we going to be listening to it in a month? Maybe a song. Or two, yeah, but not but the not, whole not the project as a whole. Man, that shit just dropped off a cliff after after it did. 13, it like it 14, it, like it didn't just, leave me wanting more to no, like to like run no. it back. You I know what agree. I mean? And it started really strong. I feel like it had a really I was hopeful start. I was very hopeful album. from the beginning. I was like, damn, like this might this might be one of his better projects. Yeah. And then it just no, it, it bro. Like the highlights are real. Like the highlights of Highlight. the project are. Top tier gonna. Uh-huh. Yes. But there is definitely lulls and like valleys. Yes. Where I'm just kind of like scratching my head and like left like kind of uninterested. Mm -hmm. But I'm giving this album a light five. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us on like our fantastic transition. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll give it like a five or a six out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five five. I'll just be diplomatic. Five and a half. I'll give it a five and a half there out of ten. Um, any, any what, other? let us know what you think. Yeah. Everybody let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, cause I, 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 I like the gun of stands yeah. are obviously like going to be rocking with it, but none of the gun of stands yeah. are going to be like, does, you know what my favorite song was die alone featuring yeah. young blue and Chris Brown. Does, like, does anybody like the end, the, like the ending of the project? If you do tell us why I would love to hear if, if like, like why people like those songs, if people do yeah. like them, cause I don't think they're necessarily bad songs. They're just like, not eh. what I've come to the gunna album for, yeah. you know? Any any other concluding thoughts before we get out of here? I think we've said our piece. Push a P. Push P. <laughs> Push P. Yeah, that was my favorite track for sure. With, yeah. Without a doubt. Without a uh, doubt. My favorites were, yeah, Push and P. Mop. A, a, a lot of cake. Yeah, a lot of cake was yeah. crazy too. And, and probably Mop. And I don't know that bitch with G Herbo. Push P. What's the, oh, hey, which Push was the song with uh, Push 21? P. Push P, push P. Thought I was playing. Oh, yeah, that push one was P. good, too. Push P, push P. Yeah. Push it's a solid P. five, six songs. Oh, also, I, in one of the songs, I don't know if you saw when I pulled up the annotation, pushing P, yeah, basically. Being player. Yeah, keeping it player. But So, you know, on the Soul Serum podcast, we always Bro, we're push keeping it P. P. We're we, pu we push a P, baby. Yes. Push it. <laughs> push a P. P. <laughs> hey, edit a P right here. P. <laughs> <laughs> all right man and everybody thank you so much for watching follow us on instagram at soul serum follow oh. us on twitter at soul serum look it's about tanner's bedtime nah, over I, here. Just, I, just, <laughs> I just lifted weights for the third time this week i like i've been sitting in this chair for an hour and a half like it's you like got, you gotta do like that right yeah, here chest shoulders back like oh, you gotta yeah. do that that stretch uh-huh anybody uh, if anybody hoops at the esporta in kenwood ohio Holler at us because we because <laughs> we getting some runs in. Okay, subscribe to us on YouTube, the Soul Serum TV page, the main page. Uh, we're actually by the time this comes out, we'll have shot our first video in the new year. Hmm, very cool. And with all of that being said, I, as always, am your host Clay Bonin. I'm your co-host Team Mavis, and we'll see y'all next week. Pushing yep. P. Pushing P. <laughs>